So I was watching a video the other day by ex-Navy SEAL Chad Wright uh, from his YouTube channel 3 of 7 Project. And he was sharing some wisdom his Navy SEAL mentor, uh, mentor once shared with him. And it involved basically laying low until just the right time, then seize your opportunity. And he shared a, a story of a Navy SEAL who used to run in front of the pack and bud selection process. He was always showing off, always being noticed, he was always in the front. Uh, then one day he woke up and wasn't feeling very well. He had something wrong with his knee or shoulder or something like that. And so he couldn't run in the very front of the pack. He fell to the middle. And his drill instructors, who were always used to him running in the front, started drilling him hard for this because they, they thought he wasn't giving it, you know, quote unquote, giving it his all. Now that's not, uh, it's not all he said in the video. There was a lot more to it than that, but I couldn't go through the whole video and make this, this video way too lengthy, but that was basically the gist of it. And um, so I thought to myself, I think that's wise advice. It sort of reminded me of the wisdom of Solomon. Uh, you find in the book of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, uh, Solomon's always talking of both modesty and discretion. Being modest, being discreet, being silent, not being, not standing out. And uh, even though I guess Solomon didn't really take his advice all that well, did he? Um, but there's a story in chapter 9 of the book of Ecclesiastes, and it goes like this. There was a little town, and it had a few men in it. And there came a great king against it, and he besieged it, and he built great siege works against it. Now there was found in the city a poor wise man, and by his wisdom he delivered the city, but no one remembered that poor man. Then I said, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom was despised, and his words were not heeded. There was a wise man, nobody knew who he was, but when it came to the right time, he rose up and saved the day. The moral of that story is this. A wise man will remain quiet and hidden until just the right time. Then he will spring into action. Something like that. Then after he has done his duty and done what was necessary, he goes back into being nobody. Nobody will care about him. Nobody will know who he is. But God will know who he is. And God will truly know that this man is truly wise and a truly godly man. And that's, that's what matters. So, so I hope that's something to you. That's uh, that's it for uh, Riley's welder wisdom of the day.